Hi everybody, my name is Deborah and I'm one half of the Mouse Guru team here at 1-800-SHOWMEHOW.COM. Today I'm just going to give you a brief introduction to your desktop. That's what this nice blue area here is called your desktop. And all these little um, pictures here or graphics are what you call folders. Alright, or icons. And when you are saving things to your desktop they can get saved in all sorts of locations on your desktop and some people have heaps and heaps on their desktop I did and so I decided to organize everything and put them into folders which really helps the other thing is is that you want it to look organized so first I'll show you how to organize your desktop you can right click anywhere on your screen let's right click your mouse and a menu drops down now here it says arrange icons by, you can arrange it by the name, the size, the type, or modified. Now modified simply means when did the last, what was the last time you opened it and used it. And then it might, it would organize it in order of when you last used it. Or you can just let the system organize it itself, which I'll do right now. I'll just say auto arrange and I'll click on that. Let's left click. Boom. It's arranged it. Now let's say you want to add another folder you do is you right click anywhere on your desktop and then you scroll down here to what it says new and I'll go over here to folder and I'm going to create a new folder which it has auto arranged it's put down at the bottom of this list and now it's telling me it's ready for me to give it a name so I'm going to say demonstration folder okay done you can rename any folder anytime simply by putting your mouse over it, right clicking, and it'll come down here and rename. So you can rename your folder if you change your mind. You can do that at any time. Okay, pretty simple but basic stuff that people really want to know how they can clean up their desktop. Now, this is my recycle bin. If I wanted to put a folder into my recycle bin or any one of these things, all you need to do is put your cursor over the folder, left click and hold it down, and drag it. And drag it and put it in the recycle bin. I'll put it back down here because I'm just for I'll show you what it happens then. So now I'm going to show you again. You left click and you drag it and you put it in your recycle bin and then you let go. And it's gone. And then that is how you clean up your desktop. When you want to empty your recycle bin, you can right click on it and you can see where it says empty recycle bin. And I can click on empty and it asks me, are you sure I want to do this? And I say yes. And it empties the recycle bin and there we are. Now let's say that you want to change how your desktop looks. You don't maybe, you don't like this crystal blue, that's what this one's called. How do you change the look of your desktop? Well, you go into your start menu and you move up here to your control panel. Now because this takes time when I record, I've already opened up my, my control panel so that I can show you. There's a couple ways to do this. You can pick an individual task, like if you want to just change your background or the theme, or you can go down here to display any way you approach it that'll work just fine. Over here you can change the fonts. The fonts are the type of letter, the, the, um, the way the letters look. Like this is a font, the way this, these, these words are written. You can change it so that it's really fancy. You can do all sorts of things, but that's what font is. You can change your mouse pointers. If you click on the mouse pointer, that's all right because I use a different mouse so they don't need to know that and you can go over here to pointers and right now I've got 3D bronze selected but if I go over here to this little arrow and drop it down it lets me choose maybe oh maybe the kids are like dinosaurs so you can see what the what the norm that's what the normal arrow would look like and these are what other things look you can play around Okay, you can play around. It just gives you an idea of the different things you can do and have fun. I happen to like the 3D bronze, so I'll go back to that. Okay, 
that's enough for that for now on that one. So now we'll go back down here to display and I'll show you how you can change that as soon as it wants to open up for me. All right, so you've got themes, desktop, screensaver, appearance, and settings. Now the themes that are set up here, this one's showing you my current theme, which I've modified. I've picked my own. It has some pre-selected choices you might want to choose, where, for example, if I picked Aquarium, if I click on Aquarium, it will show me what that will look like. In a second it will. I hope. There we go. So it gives you an example of what Aquarium will look like. And it it all because it's like a package deal sort of thing, it come the pointers will look this will look a particular way, the font will be a particular way, the colors on the on your display will be already pre-selected because it's part of this um, pre-selected theme. You might want to do nature, for example. If we select on nature. Like I said, when I'm recording, it slows things up. But this shows you is what the, like on my bottom bar here, down here, it's tan in color. Well, if I selected the nature theme, this would be the color of my, the, my surrounds, my bar. This would be my recycle bin, which looks like a fire bucket. And so you can go ahead and select themes, which is like the packaged. Then you can go to, if you don't want to do that, you can go to desktop. And there's a whole lot of different things to choose from here. Like you could pick autumn. And it shows you what it will put on your screen. You can change if you want it in the center, like that says center, or do you want it to stretch and fill the entire desktop. Uh, this one is called Switch to Bliss. That's Bliss, and that's its center, and maybe I want it to stretch to fill up the whole box. If I picked Tile, this is what happens when you pick Tile. See, it kind of puts it in blocks. I don't like that. So I would do Stretch. And then you would just click OK, or you'd click, a, click Apply, and then OK, and then give it a second, and it will change your desktop to look like that. So you can have fun and play around and you know I change mine fairly often um, but just because I like to. I like you know get tired of looking at the same thing all the time. So you can play around and change your desktop. Okay? As far as the screensaver goes that is something that comes up uh, you know after a while with a computer um, sitting idle and not doing anything it'll put a screensaver on it so that there's some motion happening and it protects your screen. So that's the nature screensaver. You can create your own. I've created my own and um, you can do it with your own pictures. Again, let's flip over to appearance. Again, as you can see here, this was for the nature, you know, the olive green and this is, uh, you can change your color schemes. You can play around and that's Windows XP. If you wanted to play around, you can change the different colors of how the, um, the window will look. Like here, I've got beige again, that would be green. So you can play around. It's good fun. With your settings, you can pick your resolution. This, I've got it set at the highest resolution and that's pretty much what you'd want it to be. All right, so that's how you can change the look of your display. Well, I hope that's helped. That's all for today. Have fun. Change, you know, change it as often as you change your mind. It will keep you from being bored. Okay, guys, until next time. See ya.